Hi guys, this is Connie, and this is the Mystery Box Challenge. And I will tell you more about that when we get to the actual projects. So this, I'm not, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you who sent it to me yet. So I'm going to not tell you, at least until I'm done with this part. And when I'm actually doing the projects, I'll tell you. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this box. And... We have three items that we have to use, and then we can we could send up to ten items or more, but only three of them was going to be the mystery box items, and those are the items that we absolutely have to use. So we got some packing materials. Okay, right off the bar, right off the top. I see one of the challenge items, and this is challenge item number one. I have an idea what it is, and if it's what it is, I think it is, I already have an idea, but we'll see in a minute. We're going to open those up last. And then this one, I have no clue what it is, and this is uh, challenge item number two. Then... This is challenge item number three. Now, I sent a box to a creator that's in this collab as well. So, you'll want to go through all of the, um, the videos to see what we all um, got. Okay, now on to the other items. This, she sent me some, this is from Dollar Tree, and it's like, a really pretty like almost like a bronze glitter ribbon and then she sent me a chevron harvest ribbon it's got green and orange and brown chevron so that's the other one then this is kind of funny this item is an item I sent to my <laughs> To, with my mystery box so I got back what I already had and that's two of these um, crafter square artist canvases canvas boards and they are um, a five by seven and it's a canvas board so it's on a board and I use these a lot so I'm okay getting it again not a problem then she sent me two floral picks and all this stuff um, pretty much comes from the Dollar Tree, as far as I'm, as far as I know. I know mine did. Well, actually, this is a uh, um, crafter stash, so I don't know. Actually, it appears to be all so far. I know I didn't send all um, Dollar Tree items because it was a crafter stash, and I got lots of stash. So this is some harvest kind of burgundy. Uh, maple leaves and then this is just a filler bouquet of these little orange flowers and I have some of these that I've already used this year so I'm glad I got some more then these are some items I could not find at my Dollar Tree so I was completely happy getting them and this is a wood uh, maple leaf welcome sign and this was um, from the uh, Crafters Square from Dollar Tree. And then this, oh, this is so cute. This is an owl from Crafters Square. And this I have, I mean, like I said, this these items I don't, I can't find at my car. My um, Dollar Tree, we got very little stuff and she's not getting any more. So she said she only got three or four boxes of stuff. So, that's what happens sometimes when you live in a small town. Okay, and this is the last one. It's a, um, a pumpkin with thankful, and this is an acorn, and then a leaf next to it. And then, it looks like she sent me, and it says some fun stuff. Okay, this looks fun. Let's see what all is in here. <laughs> 
These are some little burlap hats. Looks like a scarecrow hat. And then, oops, she sent me some Werther's original candy. I love those. I don't know how she knew that, but I love them. I can eat one right after another. So that's in here. Let me get these all out so I can see what else is in here. This is the kind of little stuff that I like. Okay, so I don't know if you can see in here, she, there's these little wood cutouts. There's like a crown. There's a couple different crowns. And then there is some little spirals. There's another one. These are all little tiny. Oh, here's some maple leaves. Oh, and a rocking chair. And this looks like a moose. And here is another crown. And there's all kinds of little stuff like that. And then there's these, um, let's see if I can show you. I don't know if I can show you. Okay, so it's this stuff right here. These little metal shiny, and there's a whole bunch of them. And they're pumpkins, and they're maple leaves, and there's other fall leaves and there's little um, uh, acorns and a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch in this little bag. So now let's move on to the um, mystery items. Now these stuff that she sent me I can use them for anything, any uh, DIY. But these things, these three items, I have to use. So, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them all at once in one combiner, or if I'm going to have to do three different things. So, let's do the channel challenge item the first time. Now we did a, a mystery box. Um, few months ago that was a little bit different from this one and that was a fun one. I enjoyed doing it. I really liked the items that I ended up uh, making. <laughs> a nice scraper. I got an idea. I think I know I'm going to do this. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay, my second one. I love this paper, by the way. She likes a lot of tape like I do. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is cute. It's a card holder. Last time, the last mystery box, I got something made out of the same. This is metal, and I got some. I got a, a bookends that was made out of the same exact metal, and I did a really cool thing with it. So, ideas. Okay, now the challenge item number one. I always get scared. I've seen some really, really horrible things that people have to come up with and this is exactly what I thought it was look at this <laughs> I got a colander and now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with them exciting okay so you guys will get to see what I end up doing with all three of these items in a few minutes all right bye Okay, 
I am going to use in this first project the colander and the little I said an ice scraper but in when I opened it but it's not it's like a putty knife so I got this uh, sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna be using that but I first I need to uh, cut part of the handle and the loop at the top of the calendar off and I'm heating up my um, it's a hot knife it does hot knife it has, does wood burning I got it from um, plaid because I'm a plaid ambassador so I took that sign off and I used the Dollar Tree putty and I'm filling those holes now to let you know it was Lisa Marie from living my best life with Lisa Marie okay so here I am using that cutter and I'm just gonna cut that loop off now I thought I what I I okay when I first saw it, I thought of something that I might make this into but then when I got ready to start uh, crafting I'm like nope I know exactly what I am going to uh, make with this and so this is what I'm doing now I'm not cutting it all of the handle off but I'm cutting a big chunk of it off now this thing is really really hot and it cuts through this really well and uh, not only that the plastic it just rub I wiped it right off the the um, the tip and it completely came off with absolutely no issues at all so I'm just working going around and then it just snaps off now I'm not worried about it being jagged because I'm gonna cover it up now I'm gonna go back and now I'm gonna sand those spots and I'm looking at that putty knife and I'm like I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do with it. So, hmm, this is a Folk Arts um, milk jug. And I'm going to put this on this sign. I'm going to put two layers. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, I'm so glad you're back. And if you are new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you hit it twice and click all, you'll get new notified. You should get notified every time I upload a video. As well as give me a big old thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love reading them. So here I am just getting that first layer on and then I'm going to put a second layer. Now I use my Darcy heat gun in the middle and or to dry it I mean and uh, you I have a link to that from Amazon on my link tree and that's down in the description box okay that I put off to side to um, let it um, dry and I've grabbed this uh, burnt orange burlap from the Dollar Tree that I had now you could probably figure out kind of what I'm going to be making. It doesn't take long. I'm just wrapping it around the front and using hot glue. And it wraps really well and sticks on there. And I'm just cutting pieces. And I am just using my little um, makeup spat spatula to push it down. And that's from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just using hot glue. And this ended up uh, look turning out really, really cool. So, as you can see, I'm just getting those all those pieces on there. And then that brown burlap ribbon that is sitting there from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to put it around the handle, which is going to become the stem, because I'm making a pumpkin. Now, it's a little round, but I used to work in produce, and pumpkins do come round sometimes. Perfectly, beautifully round. So that's what we're going for. And with the uh, ridges of the, um, the wire ridges, edges of the ribbon make it look like the, ri the ridges from pumpkins. So that worked out too. And of course the 
the brown burlap ris uh, ribbon I'm going to wrap around and make the stem. And I ended up doing part of this uh, craft and then going to the other one and then coming back to the to this one. I do that a lot. I'll go from one to another back and forth. And I ended up deciding that I would just leave it that way because you can see my thought process that way. So I'm just going to now wrap this around there, hot glue it to make the um, stem. I'm just kind of pinching and folding the top down. That makes it look more, more like a actual stem. Now, once I grab that, and I get, or once I get that, then I'm going to grab that board, and um, actually, no, I go to this, the putty knife. Now, this is um, Waverly's. Oh my gosh. I just lost the the color in my head. Harvard. No. I can't think. I'll have to look it up. Okay. So, I painted that. Now I grabbed the board. And now I'm going to hook this on the board. And um, I grabbed a few other things that I need. So, um, I'm just... I took some stems from some floral picks and I just twisted them to look like um, the trundles. And then um, there is some green burlap flowers in that, and I'm gonna use those too. Now I've got that little uh, crate, and I'm going to, as you can tell, I'm gonna be making a sign. And I'm gonna be making that where it stands up and holds the sign so it sits perfectly sorry I'm yawning if you've ever watched my videos that's what I do I think that's just part of me talking because even when I'm not tired I yawn when I talk a lot I yawn so that's just kind of what happens so here I am I'm just going to be gluing this and then I'm going to sit it up to the side and I am using my antique wax and I'm just going to paintbrush it on and then use paper towel and I'm going to wipe it back off and it ends up leaving a really really pretty color and it looks like it's stained and you can see how pretty that looks when you uh, do it now I'm putting it in between the slats on the top and the sides and I'm going down a little bit on the inside so that you don't see any of that um, if you're looking at it so at first this looks, oh, this dark, oh, it's dark, oh, it's dark. And then you wipe it off and it's beautiful. And I didn't do the back side because I wanted to make sure that it was, that would glue good. So, yeah, that's what I am doing. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up putting this antique wax on there. And then I've got a small, not the miniature um, bells of hay, but the small bells of hay from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to um, glue it on but I'm first going to put a second coat on um, the ice scraper or the putty knife okay I'm putting the second coat and now I remembered what it was it's hazelnut um, it's the color Okay, now here is the Bella Hay, and I'm just going to glue that in from the bottom and not like the sides because I'm going to take raffia and I'm going to stick it down in the sides so that it looks like, um, uh, I lost my words. Da, 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 da. So it looks like a crate full of hay. There we go. Okay, so. Yeah, so I am just going to cut it down and stick it in so that it's just sticking out slightly because I just want it to look like it's full and like the, the, the hay or the straw or whatever sticking out all over the place. I thought about taking the plastic off of the bale of hay and it probably would be okay 
but it kind of looks like it would just be everywhere and I decided that I didn't want it to be everywhere so that's what I'm going to end up doing now if you can tell and you might not be able to tell the putty knife is going to be a sign now okay this is a shop my stash mystery box challenge and this is all the participants now we got we split into two groups so this is the first group our guest the sec, first or second doesn't much matter and then there is the group that i'm in now we sent our stuff back and forth you're going to want to go down in the description box to find the person who i sent my box too so that you will see what they've made with mine and vice versa and around now let's get to this one this is the last one and it is the card holder now this looks a lot like the bookends I went ahead and I straightened it the best I could I took my milk jug from um, folk art and I painted it now I ended up putting two or three coats on this to hide most of that bright yellow and I took one of the little crates from Dollar Tree and I'm painting it with the exact same color now at this point I just I didn't want to replicate what I did before but I found that I ended up doing something similar but it ends up being really really pretty in the end and that's that's all that matters because I really love it and um, I hope you guys end up liking it as well. Now you'll want to make sure that you in that description box you go to or in the the um, collab that you go around to everybody's videos and don't forget to um, leave a comment and hit subscribe and hit that notification bell for everybody. It'll all help all of our channels. Now I got this little pot clay pot from the Dollar Tree. And I'm looking, I'm deciding what color I want it to be because I don't want it just to be that the, the natural color, the terracotta. So here I am gluing that on and that's when I decide to use my white apple barrel paint and just paint that whole clay pot. It ends up looking really cute. And then I don't have any floral foam. The last time I was at Dollar Tree, I looked at it, and oh, I know, I don't need it. Uh, well, I did. I only had a very little, and I already used it. So this only took um, one coat, and it covered it really well. Or maybe I did two. I don't remember. But I'm, I'm gluing it on there, and then I'm stuffing some just paper, brown paper. Now I'm taking those little flowers that um, Lisa Murray sent me, and I'm just gluing them in this little pot and then I'm going to take some eucalyptus and put it in the back and this project will be just about done then I'm going to put a little uh, finger bow on it and this turned out really pretty so I hope you guys like this one. and then we're going to go back to the other project and we're going to finish that up because I needed some stuff to dry that's why I went ahead and started with this one so um, like I said it, it, this ends up looking really cute so I hope you guys really um, like these projects I hope you guys enjoy the um, the other uh, creators pro um, projects as well and I sent some pretty interesting things to my friend and so you'll need to click on that uh, link down below and find out who that person is so here I am putting that little bow on calling that good then I'm gonna go back to the other one and finish this one, that one off so let's get right to this okay now back to the first one. I am writing pumpkin patch with an arrow. Now that won't stick down in to the uh, crate so I'm just gluing it to it. But then 
it won't glue to the sign. So I'm using those two little tumbling towers. Uh, uh, yeah, little blocks. And I'm gluing that on and then it will glue on to that plaque and it will it holds it just perfectly. Now this project is done. I hope you guys really enjoy these. Don't forget, go down to the description box. All the information's there. Um, my new channel is on there. And yeah, so this is the first one. Like I said, I hope you guys like it. Put those little pumpkins in there. Looks super, super cute. And then this was that second uh, project. I hope you like this as well. I hope you guys have a blessed week and be the Bible somebody reads today. Bye.